Hello, I'm Bernard Hickey from Interest.co.nz and welcome to a special housing report brought to you in association with BNZ. Today we look at mortgage approvals numbers across the entire market in New Zealand. It is deathly quiet out there in the housing market. Last week there was a record low number of mortgage approvals granted by the banks in the week to Friday. 4,867 approvals, that's down 21% from a year ago. It's also the lowest on record for any one week outside of holiday weeks. Now you can see here with this chart that the trend for mortgage approvals has actually been falling since 2006-2007, but it's really dropped off. It dropped to a real low in 2008, remember during the midst of the recession when house prices were down about 10% for the median. And it bounced up again in early 2009. Remember when a lot of people chose to fix long term around five years, around March 2009, there was a bit of a spike up. You can see that there. It went along okay for most of 2009, but since the beginning of this year, it has really dropped off. It's not just the midwinter blues. We're obviously seeing the value down 18.6% at 601 million. Again, a record low for these figures, and they go back to 2003 or so. A couple of things going on here, I think. Firstly, banks are being more cautious, and consumers are being more cautious too about borrowing more money. Two factors here. The banks face increasing stringency from the Reserve Bank on its core funding ratio. Remember, this is where the Reserve Bank forces the banks, to be fair, they also want to do it themselves for their own reasons, forces the banks to get most of their funding from long-term sources, both domestically and internationally, and from local sources, not the hot money sources they'd often got their money from before the global financial crisis. This CFR, core funding ratio, is crucial because it's rising from 65% now to 75%. This does two things. It makes it more difficult for the banks to get cheap, easy money, and it makes it more expensive, and that passing it on to us in relatively higher interest rates. You have to wonder what's going on here. The economy, which seemed to be coming out of a recession through 2009 into early 2010, seems to have stalled. I think it's because people realise in their bones that they have too much debt. The market is saturated with debt. Household debt as a percentage of total disposable income, according to Reserve Bank figures, is up near 160%. That's higher than it is in America or Greece in most of Europe. New Zealanders have reached saturation point for debt. And that's been reflected too in our retail spending numbers out today showing the fourth month in the last six months of falls in core retail spending. You have to wonder, are people saving it up for just before the GST and they'll go on a big splurge? I wonder. I think New Zealanders have finally come to realise two years after the global financial crisis hit that they have too much debt. They don't want to take on any more to buy housing that could be too expensive and could fall in value in coming years, and they simply just can't handle it if interest rates continue to rise. So there we have it, a special housing report brought to you in association with BNZ. Again, these are my personal views. I'm Bernard Hickey for interest.co.nz.